Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. I am aware fully that I've been away for the last like two months. Lockdown and um, being back at work has been massively getting ahead of me. I just feel like I've got no free time to do anything. So I've just been on holiday to Amsterdam and have to isolate for two weeks now I'm back. So get a few videos recorded, get them uploaded. And then it means I've got a couple of videos for the next one. This. Today's video, I'm going to be doing a full drag transformation from this to this. And you get to see me turn from Mac into Bella. Let's kick it off and we'll get started. So, step one, this beard, the lack thereof, everything needs to go. That's my first point of proceeding. And I'm also going to tweeze a little bit under my eyebrows as well because this these are not okay, and I haven't done them for like a month, if not a bit longer, but we move. But I'll be right back with a freshly cleaned, shaved face. Okay, so now that, I mean, I haven't really plucked my eyebrows very well because I can't find the tweezers, so we move. But face is all shaved, makes my face really, really dry. So my next step is basically, I'm just gonna prime all my skin. I go in with a nice heavy moisturizer, lather it on, because it makes my skin so glowy and so fresh. So I'm going to do that and then be right back with you. Now that the skin is all good, glowy, ready to go, I'm just gonna apply my P. Louise base to my eyeballs. Talk you through the next few steps of my routine as we go. Basically what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go in with my P. Louise base and sort of like carve out the shape of my eyebrow. And what I like to do is I sort of start right at the arch underneath. And then you can see straight away that already brings like my eye forward. To bring my eyes even more lifted and up and back, I like to draw my eyebrows sort of more straight out rather than like down as much as it's femme. I don't know. I don't know what it is. I just like to take it back. And you can see like that's going to automatically bring my eyebrow more forward. All I'm going to do is finish off underneath there. It allows me to like fully carve out my shape basically. See how that looks like awful. <laughs> I can see if it's going to look awful before I've done it, you see. And see what sort of shape that's given me. So I'm going to do this eye, do this eyebrow, and then come back. So now we're back. Eyes are nice and primed, base is on, eyebrow shape is carved out. And then I'm going to start with my eyeshadow. And so I asked earlier on Instagram what sort of like colour style look you wanted to see. And I got a lot of requests for some neon colours and I got a lot of requests for some purples. So I'm going to mix like those two sort of things together. I'll just dip my hand right in that base, no problem. It's kind of like 50-50, the sort of eye shape I do. So I'll either do like my sexy smoky liner or I'll do like my good old half cut crease, nice and blended, nice and smoky. That one tends to make me look like more of a woman. So we're going to do that one today, give you a full fantasy. So I'm going to start cracking on and talk you through to step my eye makeup routine. Starting off with my Stacey Marie palette, Godsend. I'm gonna take the shade Wasted, which is this nice bright purple here. And I'm just gonna run that through the crease. Bear with. We back. I'm literally gonna take this through the crease. This is like gonna be sort of my darkest shade. And as I do this, I'm mapping out the shape for the rest of the blends. This is your kind of, probably the most important step of your process because it guides you for the rest of your makeup. Well, I say makeup, just your eye makeup. Because I have quite hooded eyes, I mean, I say quite hooded, they're a little bit hooded. I'm just being dramatic. Shocker. I sort of like to drag it a little bit higher. This is drag makeup, so I'm not gonna be like, hmm, looking like a woman. I mean, I do. Some would argue otherwise. However, it's obviously exaggerated. That's the whole point of drag makeup. And I've just got makeup on my jumper, love that. I hate, 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 hate with a passion when like cut creases like stop here i like to start my like half cut crease from like the side of my nose and then once i've built this color up nice and full in the crease then i'm going to start blending the edges out because as we see we ain't walking around with panda eye purple circles it's not the look so i'm going to blend that out and then be right back so now that all that's blended out i've taken it a little bit past the edge of my eye just because it's so much more flattering than cutting it off too soon 
doesn't look good, doesn't suit anyone. So what I'm gonna do is, next color I'm gonna take is a nice pastel purple from the Jeffree Star Jawbreaker palette. This little pastel purple here, and then I'm gonna blend out the edges with that. And obviously, because we've already done 50% of the blend, you're gonna blend this color 50% over that one, and then 50% onto your Louise base, and then that's gonna give you a nice flawless blend. So I'm gonna do that, come back. Striking the wind up post now Liberty's on my mind We've taken off, we've left the ground You You gotta understand That we get one chance, one chance You So now I'm just going to go back in with the original shade that we used, Wasted, from the Stacey Marie palette and I'm just going to run that back through the cream Liberty's on my mind We've taken off, we've left the ground so next step, I'm going to be taking my P. Louise, what? P. Louise base, I'm lying again, P. Louise blank canvas, thank God. And I'm just going to cut half of the crease out. Now I'm going to try and camera anyway, see how, see how good we can get it. So basically what I do with this is, like I said, I start my cut crease from like inside here because I just think it looks so much nicer. And I like to cut this quite tall as well because it opens up my eyes like a lot. So I am actually going to do this off camera because I can't do it. It's too much stress. And then I'll come back and breathe. Whew. Crease is cut, as you can see, nice and big, nice and wide. So then what I'm going to do is I'm going to take the same two shades that I've used in my crease and sort of like blend those onto the lid. And I'm going to take you through that now because everyone seems to find it so confusing when I try to explain it without showing you. So... So basically, I'm going to take the shade Wasted that we've already used and I'm just going to start on the outer corner of the eye and tap it like diagonally from the outer edge to my lower lash line and this just creates like a nice pulled out look. Striking the wind up post now Liberty's on my mind We've taken off, we've left the ground So we're back, nice and purple, nice and blended. As you can see, those two colours are lovely and blended on the lid. So... I'm going to do the other eye off camera and then I'm going to come back and we're going to crack on with the brows and the skin and everything else because I need something else on my face. One minute. We are back. Both eyes are done. But now I'm going to take you through my face routine. See how I get that snatched back womanly face. My first step of my skin is my foundation and basically when I do my foundation rather than like obviously I use a brush rather than a sponge just because I think a sponge soaks up too much product nice and easy. I'm still like tapping it onto the skin rather than like brushing it into the skin just because he says that and does his chin like that. I just think it gives a nicer finish and doesn't leave brush marks in your makeup. The foundation is on, it's all over the lips. Don't worry about that, it will be gone later. So now I'm moving on to my concealer, which is obviously also like my base for my highlighting and contouring. And I like to go really bright, very specific areas, because it lifts my face in a very nice way. I like to go right under the inside of the eye here, really bright. And then also there on the side of the cheek, because as soon as I blend that in, it like pulls this out. And then I like to, because this has got a really nice thin like applicator, I like to go like right down the sides of my nose with this. <laughs> and then obviously, standard procedure, chin, cupid's bow, the centre of the forehead, and just a little bit in between the brows. We're going to blend this out. For my chin and my forehead, I like to use the same brush that I've used with the foundation, just because, with it being so light, the mix of the foundation remnants on the brush, oh, look at that. it makes it all like marry together really nicely. So you can see it doesn't look like stark. And same goes for the forehead. I have to be really careful on my forehead and set it quite quick because I have a massively wrinkly forehead and just a massive forehead in general. Oh, I was sat like that, oh God. And then, yeah, it just allows you to create the shape that you want your face to be <laughs> rather than what it actually is because, sis, she is ugly. From the front, it sort of like pulls the sides of the face out like that. I'm just gonna blend the rest in. And then I'll be right back with you. Just while that's still a little bit wet, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go in with my setting powder, which is the Jeffree Star Magic Star, of course. Set your makeup in place. And what I like to do is, because the foundation and everything that I use is usually matte, not because I like matte finish, but because I hate my face feeling sticky, I'll only set the areas where I've just put concealer because the rest of my face is already matte, so I don't want to add any more dryness. <laughs> As long as you look okay from a distance, then you're okay. 
you are good to go. Next, now that our highlight is on, I'm going to go in my contour. I don't like doing this directly on my face because I think it straight out the tube is like not warmed up and so it sticks to certain areas that you don't want it to stick to. So I like to like warm it up on the back of my hand and then go with a brush separately and this just allows me to have a lot more control as well. So when I do my contour for drag makeup, I start it really high up and really far back. Build it up there first and then that's when I start to bring it forward because you can see straight away there, it gives you a bit of a shadow. The goal is to change the shape of your face because believe it or not, I'm quite fortunate actually, I don't have that much of like a manly face structure other than my jawline. She's like handsomely beautiful, is what I like to say. Like some of the most beautiful women in the world have like gigantic in the words of Alaska. This is one of them. I'm just gonna carry on with this off camera because I hate watching myself do it in the camera. I can't concentrate properly. Oh no, there we go, we're all good. So I was locked down treating everyone anyway. Let me know if you've like tried any new hobbies or anything like in the comments below because I feel like I've not took up anything new. <laughs> Which I probably should have because no wonder I'd been sat on board the first three months. But obviously now, like everyone was like, yay, everything's getting eased up. Like pubs are open again, like clubs are probably going to open soon. And then lo and behold, Boris Johnson turns around and says, actually, <laughs> psych, you've been pranked by the prank patrol. Pubs are closing at 10. Yeah, like I feel like it's just a net. Why am I leaning like this? Like a negative, going back on ourselves. That's what I'm trying to say. We're going back on ourselves, you see. But I guess I'm not the government, so. The nose is on, the nose is patchy, apparently, but we move, not a vibe. But nose is on, face is set. I'm gonna go in my powders now. So I'm gonna go over my bronzer, blush, highlight, everything like that, and I'll take you through each step of that as well. So my bronzer, I'm going with a nice small like tapered brush and literally I'm just going over where I've already bronzed and I'm just going ding 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 just little taps ding 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 over where I've already been and this just stops you over producing your bronzer basically again same thing with the other side little ding 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 and then same thing on the forehead and getting it in your hair because we love <gasps> get rid of that hairline it's up ah scary god i didn't know i was making horror films on youtube now and then jawline as well just to warm it up on the bottom of the face because it's not worse than when everything isn't cohesive god that looks so harsh on my face there but like i say as long as you look good from far away it's totally fine that's not a problem not a problem at all and then i'm just gonna Put the mirror in front of my face and make it totally irrelevant the content that I'm making. And then this, this looks really harsh, but from far away, it lifts. Why is the light in this bad? I'm gonna sit here because, oh, this is such a nice lighting now. When you sit, oh God, am I gonna look like that this whole video? Never mind, we'll address that. Next step, blusher. Probably my favourite part of my routine, just because as much as it doesn't make like that much difference, like it's not like a neon hot pink on my cheek. It just looks so nice. Makes you look healthy. Oh, hello. <laughs> hello. What I do is a little tape brush, scrub it in my blush because I love colour. Tap the excess off and just, rather than on the apples of the cheeks, because it makes my face look like not nice. So. I put it almost in the same sort of areas as I put my highlighter just because when you sit from the front it pulls everything up and back again and yes that's the look we're going for mm. love blush long time ago in a land far away I lived a pineapple princess tiki I'd have said get rid of blush any day because I hated it because obviously I didn't used to wear that full coverage foundation when I first started because clearly I didn't know how to wear makeup but since I learned how to apply foundation properly, oh my god, that is stunning. Mm. But yeah, since I learned how to apply foundation properly, my cheeks obviously aren't red anymore, and that was the only thing that stopped me wearing blush was having red cheeks. So now that I can combat that, we apply lots of blush. Highlight time. Taking Mitchell Be Perfect, I mix like 
this shade and this shade together because I'm not that tanned at the moment. And what I like to do is take it like nice and right on the tip of the brush. I'm just gonna not work apparently. Oh, there we go. I was gonna say, don't be playing me up now because you work often for me. Just apply right on the high points of the face, such as the chin. I remember this woman had commented on my picture of like me with like full face on, with a wig, everything. She said, no offense, <laughs> no I'm taken, but the way you do your makeup makes you look like a man. Sorry, what? Sorry, what? I Oh my god, would you be so right? Like, you would literally be bang on, yes. I am a boy, believe it or not. And so obviously I replied to the comment, because the girl can't help herself, and was like, and obviously so I said, I was like, well, funnily enough, <laughs> believe it or not. <laughs> That's a man, Maury. Like, obviously told her, <laughs> I'm a man. And she was like, oh my god, I'm so sorry. Like, I didn't mean to offend you and all this. And I thought, well, I mean, it's a good job I'm not very easily offended. Just watch what you say, because obviously you never know. You never know. So now that the skin is done, I'm gonna do... It's my nose, apparently. Underneath the eyes, brows, lips, lashes, and then get up in the full geesh. Best advice I can give for you all is what goes up must come down. If you put anything on the top, unless you're intentionally changing the colours, bring it underneath. I'm blinding myself. Just carrying everything. Oh my God, I need an actual stand-up mirror because it's so hard to hold one while you do your face. Ah, uh, I can't explain anything. Right, I'm gonna explain and then show. I'm just taking the same colours underneath my eye and then I'm just gonna carve out a little tiny bit of the inner corner and that's that. So I'm gonna do that off camera and show you afterwards. Under eyes done. As you can see, I've like left this little mm -mm here just because it helps the, like the, the swoop. I need to stop doing things with my hands. Oh my God, how annoying am I? What I'm gonna do now is I think we're gonna do my brows first, then lips, and then lashes to finish off because lashes are like the piece de resistance on the chef's kiss. Mwah. So, I'm gonna talk you through how I do my brows. My boy brows are totally, totally different to my dad brows. So, basically, when I started getting my fluffy brows, like I love my eyebrows to be dead big, dead bushy, but when I'm in drag, like they don't suit my drag face, if that makes sense. They just don't make me look like a woman, unfortunately. But I just taper them off at the edge. So what I do is I like to start with not putting the mirror in front of the camera. I start with the tail and then from the top of the brow, I'm just gonna comb these hairs down, but I'm just gonna join those two together. You can see there, that's like, that is a brow, like, and then I'll fill this in. Then I'm just gonna flick up the front. Two your hairs in and she's done. Like she's literally done. <gasps> We're gonna do the other brow off camera and then be right back to do the lips and lashes. Brows are done, totally not symmetrical. Totally not too bothered because you can't see half of them when my hair's on it anyway because I'm going for the good old like <laughs> fire faucet vibes today, so. Lips, I overdraw my lips, crazy. No, I'm telling you, I actually don't even do them that big anymore because I remember there's a few pictures I used to take and I look back now and like my full mouth just looks massive and it just doesn't look nice. So I use like a dark brownie red, which looks so like, <laughs> no, it doesn't go together, but because I've got foundation on my lips, it like counteracts the colour, softens it, fades it down a little bit. What I like to do is, I always start at the corners of my mouth because if I start at the top, I end up going too big. And so I just start up oh, following the shape of my lip. Same thing on the other side. And then once I get to the top, all I do is I'm just following literally the shape of my lip. And then once I've done that, this is where I start to overline from. I usually go like a little bit darker on the outsides just to sink those back. And then across the top, I don't even so much overline, I just let the pencil catch my cupid's bow where it wants to catch. And you can see that they're not overlined crazy by any means. And then once I've done those two top points, stop talking while I'm doing it. I just round out everything that's going on so it's nice and mm, rather than because uh, that's not okay. Then bottom lips are exactly the same. Lipstick wise I usually just go in with like a nice pinky middle of the road nude 
I scrape literally like 90% of the excess off, like the wand, because I just like to start in the middle. And then once I've got it there, just tie it out. Uh, oh God, I wish I could talk. Tap it out with my finger. Because I feel that way you've got so much more control over where you're actually putting it. You're not going to totally, totally cover all of that line work that you've done. And you don't want it to disappear. Gloss is my favourite. I hate my lips. So we're going to do gloss. I'm going to go in with my absolute favourite gloss formula, Jeffree Star, in the shade Diamond Juice because this speaks for itself. I don't know, I say that in every single video about something, but the way it catches the light. Cut girlies like this. Oh, yeah. Uh huh. This is what I was born for. Oh! Stop piecing the powder, man. Oh, God. And now it's lunchtime. You guys know the drill by now. If you follow me on Instagram, you literally see like every single client, every single post that I wear. It's these lashes by JP. Fucking lashes are the best. These are the style FLE. Voila, lashes are on. She is sickening. So. Face is done, eyes are done, lashes are on, lips are popping. Now, we just need to, in the words of Madonna, get into the groove. And boy, I've got to move and go and get dressed. And I will be right back for the finished transformation. Woo! And so that, guys, is my completed... Why is the fluff in my hair? Completed full drag transformation, basically. I had a lot of you guys want to know like a lot in depth about how I get from male to female, so to speak. And so this was it. So I hope you've enjoyed it. Please like this video, give it a thumbs up, subscribe down below, whichever corner it is, I can never remember. And comment down below the next video you want to see from me. And that guys is about it. <laughs> So thank you all for watching and I'll see you soon on the next one. Bye guys.